on the road in the Queensland Outback and I'm going to take you on a little bit of a journey of all the B-roll we took starting from the first leg in the flat sort of hinterlandy is that the Darling Downs? I think that's yeah. closer to the Darling Downs just over, over the uh, Toowoomba range so mountain range which is about two hours west of, of the coast of Queensland yep and then we all headed along the road and found some cattle with a guy herding his cattle with a horse with his horse look at him go we also saw some eagles so it was a lot greener there uh, where the cattle were than it is where we are now we'll show that in a second but there's the guy on his horse Herding his cattle around. And then this is where we're at now. To let me flip the camera over. It's a bit bumpy. Uh, red. Red, pretty barren land. If you have a look out to my right hand side there, Maka, you can see there's, there's trees beside the road here, but there's not a lot of trees out to the right. And it's pretty barren out there, not a lot of grass on the ground, and what grass there is, it's brown. Uh, pretty dead, probably not very nutritious for cattle or, or sheep, which is uh, what, what gets uh, grazed out here a lot. And um, we've seen a lot of roadkill on the road. Easily 100 plus. Mostly kangaroos. Very bumpy. We've seen, uh, we see, we did see one awesome, one awesome eagle that is uh, an icon of Australia, Australia's bird life, and that, and Macca's first time seeing that eagle was in the wild, which is fantastic. What was that, Macca? It was massive. Legit, legit thought it was a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wedgetail eagle, the Wedgetail eagle. I believe the span of their wings is about two meters. Uh, so I think it's one of, if not the biggest uh, bird of prey in Australia. It's crazy. Which is uh, about three times bigger than the bull-headed eagle in America. So wow. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, pretty pretty close. Maybe two and a half. I'm not sure, but it's bigger. <laughs> cool guys. Well, well right. check out check out more of this landscape just quickly. It's uh, the gimbal is slowly dying. Yeah, we've got we've got a big bumpy road ahead and a nice horizon. Blue skies. The moon is out. Well, it was out. It was out. We're heading straight for it. I don't know where it's gone. And uh, oh, look at that. That road ahead's pretty long. A lot of straight roads. <laughs> Let me try and zoom in here. Connectivity hasn't been too bad. When we get into towns, the connectivity is fine on uh, Telstra, and also Optus has been working as well. Uh, out on the road like this, we've been in and out of out of uh, service. But you know, uh, we've got we've got actually got three bars, 4G right now. Yeah, it's been pretty good. But we're getting closer to a township. That's probably why. And this this outback Queensland, uh, pretty much outback Australia. Oh, oh no, <laughs> the, the, gimbal, the gimbals died. <laughs> I've resorted to handhelding. <laughs> Um, in a six year drought, that's what I was going to say. They're in their sixth year of drought, and that, that's uh, pretty sad because there's been a lot of road trains going that way, taking cattle out of the country. They just can't, the properties just can't support it anymore. Cool, guys. Well, uh, make sure you keep following along for more lives later on this week from the 7th to the 12th, and at Beach City Life on Facebook. And then don't forget to search us on YouTube at Beach City Life. Catch you guys in the next video.